So a few days ago, I made a video regarding a CBO testing strategy for Facebook ads. And today in this video, I really wanted to cover kind of how to scale the CBOs after you find a winning product and how you can increase your ad spend to reach more people and therefore increase sales. So if that sounds interesting, let's hop into it. Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. My name is Jeffrey and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, um, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more content and if you like what you see. Now, a couple days ago, I made a video regarding a CBO testing strategy that you could use for Facebook ads um, for your Shopify dropshipping products. And in this video, I really wanted to share, you know, kind of like a follow-up of, you know, what you can do to scale your CBOs and your Facebook ads and your products as well. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So just a brief background about CBOs. Um, if you don't really know what CBO is, be sure to check out my other videos. I think I have already about two to three videos regarding that and I explain in detail what they are and what they do. So if you don't know what that is, um, be sure to go back to those videos and check it out before you come back to this one. Um, but I'm just gonna leave you with an image right here um, to kind of explain what CBOs are and for you to visualize um, what they are and what they do. Um, just read, just go to like the second column right here. That's what basically CBO is. So what are CBOs used for? Well, really it's the same purpose as regular ad sets. Basically what you use CBOs for is to increase your ad spend um, in order to increase more sales, uh, more reach, and therefore more people. And um, the more people you reach, um, the more sales you're gonna get. And one way to do that is to increase your ad spend. And CBO is one of the mediums to increase your ad spend and get more relevant traffic. And CBOs inferior, they're actually a more efficient way of doing so because if you don't really know, CBOs is supposed to allocate more of the budget to the ad sets that are working. So um, that means that they're bringing more relevant traffic to your website and it should increase your conversion rates as well because the traffic is more warm and um, they're more, they have more kind of a buying intent as opposed to you know, other people. So CBO will actually be mandatory in September 2019 if you don't already know. So you might as well learn the ins and outs of it right now and learn as much as you can about it. And uh, one way to do that is through this video and through my other videos and other people's videos as well regarding CBOs. So that's what CBOs are and why you should use it. So the first strategy we want to talk about is the incremental method. But before we get into that, I want to talk about two ways to scale up CBOs. So the first one is that you're going to take your best interests and put them into a CBO. So for example, you have a campaign, just a regular campaign running um, automatic bid ad sets. You would put your top five to 10 ad sets into a new CBO, and then you're gonna create that new one and then let it run. Alternatively, another way to scale that is to take your best ad set, your very best ad set, and to put that into a CBO on its own and duplicate it five to 10 times. So essentially what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna see a new campaign um, a new CBO campaign inside will be one, just one interest, but duplicated about five to ten times. Um, just a kind of like a uh, precautionary or whatever. Um, each ad set will actually have one single interest, so you're going to kind of isolate the variable and see which audience is working well and working the best. So you're going to set your budget at fifty dollars to hundred dollars a day, depending on your budget, in the campaign level. Um, hence CBOs, campaign budget optimization. You're gonna set it at seat at the campaign level and then you're gonna wait at least 24 to 40 hours. And then after 40 hours, so what you would do is increase the budget of the, the new CBO that you just made by about 50%. So if it's $50 a day, you're gonna increase it to $100 a day. Then you're gonna to do it $200 a day, $400 a day, and so on. So this is basically the incremental method. And the reason why it's called incremental is because you're adding, um, you know, adding the budget, you're increasing the budget incrementally um, by 50% every time and every day or so. Um, so you're just making your, you know, using the same campaign, you're increasing your budget in the same campaign level and the same ad set and all that. So hence incremental. The second strategy I want to cover is called the duplication method. Basically the, the, the concept is going to be the same. The creation of the CBO campaign is going to be the same as the incremental method. But the only difference is after you find that your new CBO campaign works, um, you know, after around 24 to 40 hours, you duplicate the campaign and then double the budget. So for example, if you have a $50 day um, campaign, you, you, know, you put all your best interest in your CBO campaign at $50 a day. 
After 20, 24 to 48 hours, you duplicate the, the same campaign, change nothing about it but the budget to $100 a day. So for example, in this case, you're going to do $50 a day and then duplicate it, change nothing, and then make it $200 a day. So now you have two campaigns, right? So after 24 to 40 hours, you would rinse and repeat the same thing. So once you find that $100 a day works really well, you're going to duplicate it again and then change it to $200 a day. Change nothing about it. And then later on, it'll be $400 a day. But um, the caveat to this is, I guess it would be, you would cap the campaign budget to about $400 to $500 a day. And the reason why this is because I would recommend actually, I haven't tried this personally because I haven't got to that level yet um, of spending that much money. But um, the reason why is because I would rather allocate more of that budget into scaling horizontally and trying different ad sets as opposed to going deep and you know diving deep into one particular audience or like a bunch of audiences. I want to reach more people with different interests and experiment what works better and what doesn't. So I would cap at $400 a day as well. And another reason is also because you know once it reaches about $500 a day, it can start to get a bit unstable and it might spend more of your money really quick. So um, it's just another way to avoid um, you know your budget um, misallocation and just wasting your budget you know that much faster so I would recommend capping about $40 a day and then spend the rest of your money on testing other interests as well testing more campaigns CBO campaigns testing more interests and stuff like that so you might be wondering what lookalike audiences um, they will be you know in, the, in this particular case if you don't know what LA's are they look like audiences basically they just custom audiences from Facebook um, I'm going to make another video regarding that if you want. I don't think I made a video regarding lookalike audiences and what they are in detail. So comment down below if you want to see that happen. So basically anyway, for LLAs, the same thing is going to apply. You're going to use a test campaign for testing your lookalikes and see which audience and or what percentages is going to work the best. And then once you do that, you're going to duplicate your winning ad sets or your winning ad set into a new CBO again. Um, you know, you can do it through the incremental method or you could do it through the duplication method I was, as we just mentioned. But the only difference in this in this case is that you're messing with custom audiences. So there are in theory more warm traffic people, um, warm traffic of audiences, which means they have more buying intent because they look most similar to the people who, you know, perform the activity in your website. For example, add to cart or purchase or, uh, you know, view your content or view your video as well. So. There you go, that's lookalike audiences. Mm -hmm. Basically the concept will be the same. The only difference is you know, you're messing with lookalike audiences, custom audiences, things like that. So I forgot to give you a visual example of what I actually mean. So just in case you're confused, I want to show you guys how to do it in person and you know in practice. So let's get right to it. So we're just gonna click and you know create ad right now. And then we're just gonna make a random test campaign. Um, let's say just a regular conversion, um, regular you know ad set bid. Campaign, we're gonna save the draft. And then we're gonna go in. So let's just say you're testing a bunch of you know ad sets, let's say you know six more, testing a bunch of interests as as usual. So let's say that you've been running it for about you know two to three days and you see that a couple of you know ad sets are running, let's say two plus sales for each ad set. So let's say that one of these, we're just going to use the best interest example right now. Um, as I mentioned before in the PowerPoint, so what we're going to do is just click on duplicate and then put in a new campaign and we're just going to do like interest A CBO campaign, something like that. There's a naming convention to it, but um, we're just going to leave it at that for now. So and I click on save and then we're going to go back to the campaign level right now here. Um, actually, the, the panel might be different for you guys because some of the, some of the people their panel, their dashboard is a bit updated because of the um, the new layout and stuff. But um, the concept is basically the same. It's just the layout is different. So anyway, we're just going to click this right here. Um, right now you can see it's asset budget. You're gonna turn this on, budget and bid, and then you're gonna put the see right here. It says campaign budget. So this is going to be the CBO, the campaign budget optimization. So you're gonna put fifty dollars, one hundred dollars, depending on your budget and your risk tolerance, and you're gonna click on publish. So Anyway, you're going to set it as $50 as so you can see, $50 budget. And then what you would do is just duplicate that, you know, what, how, however many times. So I would do like 10 times. So I would do nine more right now here. Obviously you're going to do purchase 
like that. Yours would be green if you already had sales. So, um, and I'm just gonna name everything like something more, something more organized. I just for this, and then something like um, you know fishing, for example, fishing, and then gender, whatever. I just leave it at that because both male and female. And you can do like age. So let's say for example, it's 23 to 65, or 25 plus. You do 25 plus right there, and you're gonna click on publish. So basically, you're just gonna run it like that. So you have 10 interests, and then a campaign level of $50. So you're just gonna let that run, and then you can either increase the budget by $100 by editing the budget right here, setting the $100 right there, or you could just duplicate it again, duplicate it, and then change nothing as I said and then change the budget so where right, you can see $100 you can do it $200 so just do it like that and you click on publish so that's about it very simple so I just want you to understand that the sky is really the limit when you when it comes to scaling because let's say in this instance we're actually working with one you know one single interest single interest targeting and audiences and even if that's the case there's actually a lot of people you can tap into think about it on average um, for dropshipping most people who target the single audiences um, you know the reach is about at least 1 million plus people and you're gonna have to spend a lot of money to reach that 1 million people even if not all of them buy it which of course it's not gonna happen you're going to be reaching 1 million people and even if you have a 1% conversion rate like 1% that people buy you're already pretty much it's super liquidated already if you think about it so as I said here if wanting an audience works well you can actually duplicate um, the ad set a lot of times so which brings me back if you want to reach more people within that um, that pocket of audience, you'll duplicate the ad set a lot of times to hit different pockets of the audience. Because chances are, if one interests, um, you know, for that interest, if one pocket of people really like what you sell and what you have to offer, chances are that other people in that pocket of people will also enjoy your product as well. And of course, as you know, once you set a budget, a certain budget um, for the audience, Facebook is not going to send, you know, all the traffic to you within that interest. It's just going to send you a small pocket of people who are interested in that, you know, that on that interest. Like for example, you know, fishing or whatever. So you can duplicate a lot of times. And one way to do that is really to do do it through the um, the best interest method, as we just talked about, which is uh, you know taking your very very best interests or ad sets and put them into CBO and duplicate it five to ten times. So this part right here, duplicate it five to ten times, will really highlight the um, the fact that you can reach different pockets of people in the audience. So this is actually what I recommend and what I'll probably do um, once I find another winning product and scale it further. But um, this is actually a really good way to um, kind of hit the different pockets of people effectively. And you know, the reason why you'd be putting in a CBO first place is because it's already validated that, that that audience of people are interested in what you have to offer. So anyway, that's about it for today's video. I hope you really got some value and I hope you can connect the dots from my previous video and hope you can scale your product further to you know 1k a day, 2k a day, 5k a day, or even 10k a day. But uh, let me know down in the comments your results and what you think of this video. And um, also let me know down below what you want to see. And um, I am trying to still do the 30 day challenge, but um, it's been kind of difficult because I still have to record the video, edit some bits and pieces, and then upload it to YouTube, which also takes some time. So um, I'm trying my best. You know, on top of that, I also have like a social life and stuff to eat and stuff and hang out with you know some people and um, so yeah I'm, I'm trying my best but hopefully you can forgive me on that but um, subscribe if you like the content and you know encourage me to make more videos uh, we are growing pretty fast we're 150 subscribers right now um, I know it might not seem like a lot but to me you know it's very surreal to me because it's my first time running a channel and I'd really appreciate any support you guys have for me um, you know share with friends your family comment down below you know helps me with the engagement and uh, help with the ranking and SEO and stuff. So um, yeah, if you really like this video, be sure to comment, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.